Before we dive deeper into the IIS manager and setting up some sites, let's look at a tool from Microsoft called the Web Platform Installer. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer and do a search for Web Platform Installer. It's going to direct me to a Microsoft site where I can download and install this tool. So what this tool does is it pulls a catalog of, of the latest applications and components available for IIS. Um, so here's the spotlighted applications that, that just happen to be what the spotlighted applications are right now while I'm running the tool. We can see that they have WordPress, a free PHP, uh, MySQL backed uh, blogging engine, uh, Microsoft Web Matrix. We can see the ASP.NET MVC3 tools update was just released, so that's, that's listed here, Visual Studio SP1. Um, and we can drill down, this is the spotlighted area, we can drill into the products and, and drill into specific classes. So here's the FTP publishing service, here's a smooth streaming client. Uh, URL rewrite, you know, just various tools, and, and as new versions come out, this will be up, you know, these will get updated to the latest versions. So this is really handy to stay on top of uh, the tools that are coming out from Microsoft. So let's install, we're going to use the URL rewrite um, component later for a demonstration, so let, let's select that. Um, let's see, what else do we want to select? Let's go to, um, let's go under frameworks, and just for fun, let's, let's install the PHP engine. So we'll add PHP 5.3.6. And we'll click install. It's going to show me uh, what components I've selected as well as you can see there was a dependency here, PHP Manager for IIS that it's added. I'm going to accept that. It's going to download the components I've selected and then do an installation of those components. So now the installation is finished. We click finish. Um, and then we can come back and install more items. Now, if I would have selected a, a component, let's say WordPress, it would have had to ask me some questions about, you know, what's the root password for MySQL? You know, where do I want to install the, the website? And, and things along those lines. Um, but there you go. Now you have a tool where you can easily get the, the latest components from Microsoft uh, and, and kept up to date.